Okay, here's the dirty drone cluster fuck. And it is named in this strange way because it is based on the reverse landfill creep cluster version 1, I guess, circuit boards that I traded a bunch of years ago. Uh, and there are two of them. Uh, it's a very interesting circuit and I think it's also available as such from reverse landfill from the Netherlands, so check it out. This is like kind of like an exploded, extended, modified version of it and as I said, two. Uh, coupled together. So the circuit has three oscillators, two that are sending a signal to a switch and the switch is getting input from, uh, from oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 and the switch oscillator defines the frequency in which like which of those oscillators goes through. And that results in a very interesting waveform that can be shaped in, in many ways. And the uh, uh, fourth knob in a row is a very, very weak, I would say, uh, filter, a cutoff filter. So uh, if, if you have it if you turn it this way you get all the high frequencies and if you turn it all the way this way you cut off some of the higher frequencies it it's not it's a passive filter and it works very weakly but you can shave off the high frequencies a bit and in this box here the is uh, as i said two of them so this like switch section here is um fed by the first uh, by the first uh, section and it has a different settings that can be uh, that changes the sound in depending on all the other settings changes the sound a little bit uh, and mangles the the <coughs> input signal further so on the stuff that comes out from the first uh, section here is also controlled on the output here with this volume control but it also goes to the second section and has this like second switch oscillator and it comes out here now <clears throat> and it also has a filter and also both of them can be kind of weirdly feedbacked with these body contacts it has 12 body contacts that uh, work uh, depending on the settings so some in some settings it works very strongly in some settings it's very subtle it's uh, the whole thing is very stochastic meaning it's really hard to determine uh, uh, what happens with these feedback things and here as uh, as as you see there are some some uh, electronic components you can plug them in this is something that I added to it it's like a little patch bay with uh, 12 little holes and you can plug in and the best I think is what works the best is capacitors so it will come with a couple of capacitors and then uh, you can plug them in and they uh, modulate again the whole thing uh, a little bit so it sounds like this, here's one oscillator, it's this one. It's the second, first one. So the first one is very uh, kind of clear. Here's the two oscillators, go very low is the switch and the second one sounds like this second one always sounds a bit similar to the first one 
uh, and anyway they come out in mono so you can kind of fade between the different things by, uh, by doing this so obviously the second one here also gets uh, modified by changing and then you have these toggle switches that add. Here there's some kind of weird decay when you click it in. Soft. some some capacitors leave this on let's, let's push this here just randomly plugging it in and sound is another cup hole connection get some rhythmic uh, kind of up and down things depending on the bigger capacitors.
just a fucking head over to uh, reverse landfill for some interesting noisy things.